Hello there and welcome to another Coffee with Column and thanks very much for tuning in. If this is your first time coming along to a Coffee with Column session, well then you're very welcome. And the objective behind this series is to take snippets from my own business journey as chronicled in the book, Feeding Johnny, How to Build a Business Despite the Roadblocks. Uh, take a snippet from the story on a weekly basis, uh, discuss it and discuss the lessons that I learned uh, therein uh, and put them out there for you to consider as you go on your journey and as you continue to build your business in the hopes that uh, lessons I've learned along the way can be of benefit to you in your journey and create a shortcut where back in the day I had none. If you enjoy what you're hearing and you like to share it with others, feel free. Others of like mind, post it out there privately or publicly in whatever way suits you. If uh, it speaks to you and you'd like to leave a comment as to your own experience in this particular area, well then just simply pop to the box beneath the video in the blog and leave us a comment. It'd be always, it's always good to hear from other people. So hold tight and we'll have a quick coffee with Colum and discuss one particular topic. Okay, the story for this week is around networking. Now, I don't want you to confuse this week's vlog with the one recently where I spoke of the man on the train. You see, the man on the train was where networking worked and worked perfectly well and worked profitably and was transformational in my particular journey. And uh, that's one worth checking out if you haven't already seen the man on the train vlog. But I want to talk about networking. Networking is a hugely important part of everyday business in the 21st century. No question has to happen. Uh, there are various, various different ways networking takes place. I was introduced to the concept of networking many years ago through network marketing, which is a wonderfully powerful business uh, tool. However, there are some flaws with network marketing, as there are in fairness with most business uh, ideas. One of the flaws is that it tends to teach people who are involved to treat people as suspects first, prospect second, and then clients or members third. And if a suspect becomes a prospect and a prospect doesn't become a client or member, there's a tendency. Uh, for network marketers to sort of drop them and move swiftly on looking for more suspects, prospects and clients or members. And uh, my take on it is they are people first, people second and people third whether or not they choose to join your network. So just think uh, let's look at the human element first. Uh, there are other business organizations the likes are network organizations the likes of BNI Business Network International uh, an organization I've been a member of several times and uh, thoroughly enjoy and respect for what it does but as ever it's, it, it has its flaws um, it, it teaches members that givers gain uh, which is true and can be true at a, at a certain point in other words if I give you business you will want to give me business in return that may be true uh, I think they're closer to the mark in BNI where they talk about VCP visibility credibility, profitability. In other words, if you're out there doing your thing and doing it uh, with integrity, you are visible. If you do it long enough, you become credible. And if you do it long enough to become credible, well then uh, you will in fact uh, become profitable. Visibility plus credibility equals profitability in the long haul. And I agree with that. Uh, there are networking organizations that propose speed networking, like speed dating, uh, where you go and you bring a bunch of business cards and you meet as many people as you can, uh, as quickly as you can in the evening and take away a whole bunch of business cards. I think the success of that type of uh, event is limited enough. Um, I'm not aware of many people who've done a sustainable good business as a result of collecting 50 business cards because they tend to be brought home and put into the same drawer the 50 business cards from last month's speed networking event uh, ended up in and when you take them out again and you look at business card and you're wondering oh god who is this guy who is this girl uh, it's, 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 it's a little flawed it's a start it's better than doing no networking but I'm not sure that it's the right thing um, Richard Branson talks about people and entrepreneurs who set up business for the sole purpose of making money as being those ones who in his opinion are least successful. His take on business is that if entrepreneurs who are most successful go out of their way to solve human problems with their business idea and if they're successful at solving human problems with their business idea and successful at scale at solving human problems with their business idea well that's when the money comes in that's when they become profitable in their endeavors and that money is perhaps one of the results the positive results that might come from solving human problems and I believe that networking is the same I think networking is first and foremost about you and I connecting people and that's what I do I believe it's a profession by the way and I believe myself to be a professional networker and what I try to do is I try to meet people and I try to then join those dots, trying to put people together for mutual benefit. But it's for their mutual benefit. 
put two people together to see what might happen. My reward, if any, will come from karma. My reward, if any, will be like the man on the train story where something will happen, an event will happen, something will take place uh, that will help me in my journey and in my business. But first and foremost, network, we're networking, a bit like Richard Branson, it's not about profitability first, it's about uh, connecting people so that um, uh, human problems can be resolved and in the in the doing of that in the solving of human problems well then businesses can grow and as a result of businesses growing uh, profits can be made uh, I'm still back to my business car card how can I help it's been on my business card since before I met the man on the train it's been on my business card ever since and will continue to be it's my offer to the universe and I think that's really when networking uh, uh, comes into its own I think networking is a hugely important part of business life but I believe it needs to be done first and foremost to be of benefit to others and if that's done if you're out there doing your thing if you're visible and you're out there doing your thing with integrity you will become credible and if you're out there doing your thing with integrity and you become credible long enough you will become profitable well i hope you got something from that particular snippet that particular story and uh, thank you very much as i said earlier for tuning in if you enjoyed it and you've got something to say well then uh, pop a comment in the uh, box beneath the video in the blog if you'd like to share it out privately or publicly please do we'd be delighted if you did so if this is your first time stumbling across a coffee with column and you want this type more of this type of stuff on a regular basis well then simply pop over to our homepage, columnobrianmotivation.com uh, put your details in there into the boxes provided and we'll send you this type of stuff on a regular basis and keep you updated but thanks very much indeed for joining me thanks for tuning in as i said at the start and uh, think about what has been said here today and apply uh, what you've heard into your thinking for the next week for the week ahead and then most importantly come back next week and let's share another coffee together uh, and uh, talk about some other aspect of business in the meantime cheers enjoy the coffee delicious. Have a great week. Bye for now.